The classics are here and with it plenty of new tech. So we travelled to the midst of it all to Belgium to do some snooping and see what we could find in the pro ranks. As the peloton, it's the cobbles of E3 Saxo Bank Classic. Interestingly, I've made it to Little Trek E3 and what's really cool about this is they've got the new Pirelli P0 race tyre prototype and you can see this from the prototype in yellow and they've got them in a 30. So cool to see it in the flesh though. As for what is different on the new prototypes, we don't actually know. Pirelli is remaining tight-lipped, but the mechanics have told us the team are using a range of widths from 28 to 32. Most of the tyres I've seen though here are 30s. And then I also asked him what PSI they're going to be running across the cobbles, and it's between 68 PSI and 78 PSI, depending on the weight of the rider. And it just shows with these 30 mil tires, you can run really low tire pressures, meaning they can go faster upon the cobbles, where I guess is going to make all the difference. Most of the team appear to be using the new prototypes. However, I have spotted over there some different ones used by Mads Pedersen. Right, I'm outside the EF bus and my eagle eye spotted something and it is stems. Now, I'm a big fan of super long stem. German rider Jonas Rutsch is a fan of them too and I'm pretty sure that is at least a 15 centimetre, potentially 16 centimetres. It's absolutely massive. He's the only rider from the team who hasn't opted for the fully integrated cockpit system from Vision. He's got handlebars, but he's also gone for that long stem to get that reach at the front. Now, he's a tall lad, 1 metre 97, but he's not as tall as me. Two metres for bring it on, Jonas. If you ever want a duel, have a stem off. There's been a lot of talk about what size tyre that the rider's going to be using on these cobbled classics. Really cool to see that Astana have chosen to use 32 mil tyres. So a lot of the teams are choosing for the 30s and the 28s. Interesting to find that Astana have going for the widest of them all, the 32s. And then I can't mention Astana and the Villa Tristinas without mentioning that paint job. So cool. I mean, if I was going to ride a bike, I'd definitely choose that paint job. Right, found another long stem, and I'm going to be honest, we are kind of up the limit here because everyone's leaving to the race, so I haven't had time to ask how long it is. Judging from my previous experience of long stems, I'd say that's at least 15 centimetres again. And I'm almost going to say 16 centimetres. Banging long stem. What is Connor's obsession with long stems? Banging long stem. Anyhow, something really cool on this bike is the use of the Aero Coach Onyx bars. These are in a response to the UCI rule changes on the narrow bars, and they get over the minimum width by flaring the ends of the drops. You're also allowed to angle your levers in because the clamping area is designed for it. That wasn't the only funky cockpit setup the team had. Our website team did spot this, which is a very deep profile prototype aero bar that takes advantage of the newer UCI tube shape regulations. A little bit more tire chat. Now I've been looking at all the uh, little Trex team bikes. A lot of them are riding the prototype tires, but Mad Pedersen has gone for something slightly different. He's gone for a tubular setup. And he's got these in a 30 mil, and these are the P0s, the Pirelli P0s. Interestingly, he hasn't gone for the prototypes. And another top tip on his Trek is he's gone for a very lightweight paint job. I mean, if you're Mads Pedersen, you can kind of choose what you want, I guess. Yes, tubular tires. They're not dead yet in the Pro Panzer. These are Pirelli P-Series, which I think are fitted with the TPU tubes. Now this is all to save a bit more weight. Good luck, mate. <laughs> so there you go. Mads Pedersen and the rest of the Pro Peloton head off to the start of E3, which is basically the start of the Cobble Classics, isn't it? Well, it's not. It's been going for a few weeks already in Nancy. <laughs> I've just come out from under a rock, but E3 is a big one. It is a big warm-up to Tour of Flanders. I love it. The Classics are here, and there is some quality tech. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you had. Let us know in the comments what caught your eye and what you want to see more of. See you on the next one.